Matthew Kay is an American professional wrestler and English language professional wrestling commentator working under the ring name Matt Stryker. He is currently an English language commentator primarily for Lucia Underground but also frequently provides English commentary for assistance. He allows Asura AY Administration Cubed NPPV events in Mexico and New Japan Pro Wrestling PPV events in Japan. He also wrestles on the United States Independent Circuit and is best known for his time in world wrestling entertainment as both a wrestler and commentator. He is also an occasional actor in film and a former high school teacher. After obtaining a master's degree in educational psychology, Kay began working as a high school teacher. He also began a career in professional wrestling, and made his debut in 2000 after being trained by Johnny Rods. In early 2005, Kay quit his full-time teaching job at Benjamin N. Cardoso High School, when the school board found out that he had been using sick days as a way to pursue his wrestling career. Kay signed a contract with WWE in mid-2005, calling himself Matt Stryker, and quickly developed a persona of a heel teacher. He started out on the Raw brand, where he hosted a segment known as Matt Stryker's Classroom, before moving to the ECW brand in 2006. There he joined the New Breed Alliance and was involved in a feud with the ECW Originals. After this, he began managing wrestler Big Daddy V until 2008. In August 2008, Stryker began working as the color commentator on ECW and, alongside his commentary partner Todd Grisham, won the 2008 Slammy Award for announced Team of the Year. Stryker was then moved to the SmackDown brand where he commentated from October 2009 to January 2011. He then served as color commentator on Superstars until his departure from the company in 2013. High School Teaching Career after obtaining a bachelor's degree in history and a master's degree in educational psychology, Kay began working as a high school teacher. He worked part-time as a substitute, filling in when other teachers were on leave. In mid-2004, he was hired full-time as a social studies teacher at Benjamin N. Cardoso High School in Queens, New York, but wrestled part-time during his vacation time and on weekends. He resigned from his position as a teacher, However, when the school found out that he was using sick days as an excuse to keep up with his wrestling commitments. According to the school system's special commissioner of investigation, Kay falsely claimed 11 sick days in December 2004 and February 2005, during which time he was actually wrestling in Japan for Pro Wrestling 01. Kay later said in an interview that he would have taken personal days instead of sick days, but he didn't know there was a difference. The Special Commissioner of Investigation recommended Kay's dismissal and also recommended that he should be considered ineligible for future employment in the public schools. Kay, who was not tenured, chose to resign in April 2005 upon advice from his lawyer. Professional wrestling career. Equals early career equals. After being trained by Johnny Rods at Gleason's Gym in New York City, Kay made his debut in 2000. He initially worked for small independent promotions and quickly achieved success, winning 10 different championships during his first year. He also participated in the King of the Ring 2002 commercials. He wrestled for World of Unpredictable Wrestling, where he won the WW Continental Championship, Total Professional Wrestling, where he won the Light Heavyweight Championship and held the Tag Team Championship with Red Flair, and the East Coast Wrestling Association where he won the ECWA Tag Team Championship with Ace Darling in February 2003. The pair held the championship for seven months, until losing it in September. He also worked for Connecticut Championship Wrestling, and won the promotion's main championship in February 2004, by winning a tournament. Also in early 2004, he teamed with Josh Daniels to win the PWF Tag Team Championship, and with Simon Diamond to win the USA Pro Wrestling's Tag Team Championship. On June 19, Stryker and Diamond lost the USA Pro Wrestling Tag Team Championship at a USA Pro Wrestling show. A few hours later that same night, he appeared at a Pro Pain Pro Wrestling show as the Ultimate Striker, an impersonation of the Ultimate Warrior and teamed with Rob Echoes in a loss to Slyke Wager Brown and April Hunter. He also appeared for 3PW impersonating the macho man Randy Savage, 
The Sandman, Sabu, Hulk Hogan, and Ric Flair. On August 21, 2004, he and Echoes entered a tag team battle royal as the Bushwhackers, the Road Warriors, and the team of the Iron Sheik and Nikolai Vokov. While working full-time as a teacher in 2004, he continued to wrestle during his vacation time and weekends, and using sick days. On December 16, 2004, Stryker began a tour of Japan with Pro Wrestling 01, and was later invited back for an extended tour in early 2005. After resigning from his teaching position, he continued to wrestle around New York, and on April 30, 2005, won the New York Wrestling Connections Heavyweight Championship by defeating Mike Mondo. A few weeks later, on May 21, while still the heavyweight champion, he defeated Joey Braggle to win the NYWC Interstate Championship, but only held the championship for two weeks, before losing it back to Braggle on June 4. He made a few appearances for Ring of Honor in mid-2005, before returning to NYWC to lose the heavyweight championship to Jerry Lynn on July 30, after holding it for four months. He continued to wrestle for independent promotions throughout mid-2005, until he signed a contract with WWE. Equals World Wrestling Entertainment equals Various feuds K wrestled Kurt Angle, using the name Matt Martel, in an invitational match on the February 24, 2005 episode of SmackDown. In Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. After the revelation that K was a teacher appeared in mainstream news publications, K made a WWE second appearance on the July 11, 2005 episode of Raw to Face Angle for a second time, again using the name Matt Martel. His news coverage was played up by Angle, who told the audience that Martel was really striker, and Angle defeated him again in under three minutes. The following week, he appeared on Raw again, still claiming to be called Matt Martel, and challenged Angle again. Angle exposed him as Matt Stryker again, before defeating him for the third consecutive time. Stryker went on to compete on Heat and appear in WWE's developmental territory, Deep South Wrestling. Stryker developed a heel teacher gimmick, calling WWE his school and hosting a segment called Matt Stryker's Classroom on Raw, which debuted on December 12. During the segment he ridiculed the audience, and treated the crowd as intellectual inferiors. During a match against Lance Cade at an untelevised event on December 18, Stryker suffered a shoulder injury. He was out of action until January 23, 2006, when he continued his classroom segments once again, and then appeared mainly on Heat for several weeks. Stryker would reappear on Raw on April 17 for another classroom segment where he claimed that school is cool. Carlito, another wrestler, took exception to Stryker's statement, and spat an apple in Stryker's face, in keeping with Carlito's gimmick. Stryker returned to Raw in ring action on April 24 and participated in a six-man tag team match, in which he, Chris Masters and Shelton Benjamin were defeated by Carlito, Rob Van Dam, and Charlie Haas. During the Backlash pay-per-view, Stryker hosted an edition of his classroom segment, with Eugene, who in storyline was mentally impaired, as his guest. Eugene attacked Stryker during the segment, which led to Stryker attacking Eugene with a dictionary the following night on Raw. The scripted feud between the two also involved Carlito, who attacked both Eugene and Stryker after Eugene inadvertently caused Carlito to lose a match to Stryker by disqualification on the May 8 episode of Raw. The feud between the two ended when Eugene gained a mentor in Hacksaw Jim Duggan and defeated Stryker, after losing to him only two weeks before. Following his loss to Eugene, Stryker attacked him, but was stopped by Duggan, and ran away. Stryker appeared only rarely on Raw throughout June and July, and his final match for the brand was on July 31, when he was quickly defeated by John Cena. Matt Stryker's Classroom and the New Breed at the end of August 2006, Stryker left the Raw brand to join ECW, making his debut on August 23. He continued his classroom segment on ECW, which provoked a feud with the Sandman as Stryker insulted him. During one classroom segment on September 5, 2006, however, Stryker made a controversial remark that alluded to the death of Australian wildlife expert Steve Irwin 
who had been killed by a stingray 36 hours earlier. Due to the outrage caused by the remark, the incident was edited out of the replayed Australian broadcast and WWE chairman Vince McMahon released a public apology on WWE's official website following the incident. Stryker made his in-ring debut for the brand on the September 19, 2006 episode of ECW, teaming up with Mike Knox and Tess to face Tommy Dreamer, Sabu, and The Sandman. Stryker, Knox, and Tess lost the match by disqualification due to Tess pushing the referee. Stryker continued his feud with the Sandman until the October 17 episode of ECW, when the Sandman defeated Stryker in a Singapore cane on a pole match. At the December to December pay per view, Stryker faced Balls Mahoney in a Strikers Rules match, which meant that no eye gouging, hair pulling, top rope attacks, or foul language was allowed. Despite the match being of his own creation, Stryker was pinned by Mahoney. Stryker and Mahoney continued their rivalry until December 19, when Stryker defeated Mahoney on ECW. On February 6, Stryker aligned himself with Mr. McMahon's new breed stable, along with Elijah Burke, Kevin Thorne, and Marcus Cornavon. The new breed immediately engaged themselves in a feud with the ECW Originals. Different members of the new breeds wrestled members of the ECW Originals over several weeks, leading up to WrestleMania 23. At WrestleMania, the new breed was defeated by the ECW Originals in an eight man tag team match but won a rematch on the following episode of ECW. In the midst of the feud with the ECW originals, tension began to appear between the leader Elijah Burke and Stryker, after Stryker and Kovon were defeated by the debuting Major Brothers. As a result, Stryker began trying to avenge the loss to the Major Brothers, and defeated Brett Major on the May 22 episode of ECW. The feud with the originals lost momentum. However, as Sabu was released from his WWE contract in mid-May, and at the one-night stand pay-per-view, the feud ended when Stryker, Kovon, and Burke lost to Dreamer, Sandman, and CM Punk in a tables match. On June 12, Stryker was defeated by the Boogeyman in a singles match, and two weeks later, the Boogeyman attacked him during an edition of Piper's Pit, both times dropping worms from his mouth into Stryker's. On July 10, Stryker invited Boogeyman to the ring to educate him on worms, only to bring out the debuting Big Daddy V to attack Boogeyman. Stryker then formed an alliance with Big Daddy V that lasted until March 2008, and acted as Big Daddy V's manager, regularly accompanying him to the ring. In November, Stryker and Big Daddy V started a feud with Kane, after Kane attacked Stryker. The feud saw Stryker and Big Daddy V take on Kane in a handicap match and also saw the pair align briefly with Mark Henry. Henry helped Big Daddy V win a match against Kane on the November 27 episode of ECW, and in return, Stryker refereed a match between Henry and The Undertaker, and refused to count a pinfall against Henry. During this time, Stryker hosted a weekly segment on WWE's official website called Best WWE EK Worst WWE EK. Commentator as part of the 2008 WWE Supplemental Draft in June 2008, Stryker was drafted back to the Raw brand. Once the SmackDown color commentator, Mick Foley, was storyline injured by Edge, however, Taz moved to SmackDown to fill in for Foley, who had actually left the WWE in real life, and Stryker returned to ECW to take over Taz's duties as color commentator, thus turning Stryker face and ending his in-ring career at the same time. He made his commentary debut on the August 5 episode of ECW. Stryker and his commentary partner, Todd Grisham, won the 2008 Slammy Award for the announced team of the year. On the April 7, 2009 episode of ECW, Grisham and Stryker's commentary partnership came to an end when Josh Matthews debuted as the new play-by-play -play commentator, to replace Grisham who was moved to the SmackDown brand. In addition to commentating on ECW on Sci-Fi and ECW pay-per-view matches, Stryker and Matthews represented the ECW brand on WWE Superstars every week, which started with the inaugural episode on April 16, 2009. On October 27, 2009 it was announced that Stryker would move from commentary on ECW to SmackDown, reuniting with Grisham. 
the move was made to help accommodate Jim Ross, who had been taking time off to deal with his recent Bell's palsy attack. In November, Stryker replaced Jerry Lawler on commentary for Raw for one night, after Lawler was attacked by Sheamus, and in storyline, was unable to continue. Matt also became the commentator representing the SmackDown brand from Survivor Series. This ran until Royal Rumble when he was replaced by Booker T at the following Elimination Chamber event. On June 7, 2010, Stryker appeared on Raw for the Viewer's Choice episode, announcing the results of the votes. At the end of the show, Stryker was attacked by the Season 1 NXT rookies, along with the commentators and Justin Roberts, the ring announcer. In October, Stryker and Grisham were joined by Michael Cole on SmackDown, forming a three-man announce team. Stryker remained a SmackDown commentator until he was replaced in early February 2011 by Booker T. Host of NXT in Departure, on the inaugural episode of NXT on February 23, 2010, Stryker was announced as the host of the show and he conducted an interview with wrestler Daniel Bryan. In March 2011, Stryker gained a co-host for the fifth season of NXT in the form of Marais. On the June 2, 2011 episode of Superstars, Stryker appeared as the new agent of Tyson Kidd and managed Kidd for that single episode of Superstars. Stryker wrestled his first match in three years on the August 2, 2011 episode of NXT, teaming with Titus Unal in a winning effort against Eric Bateman and Darren Young in a tag team match turning face for the first time since his debut. He fought Young in the next two weeks, but Young emerged victorious both times. Stryker later teamed up with William Regal to face Young and JTG, but Stryker and Regal were unsuccessful in winning the match. On the October 18, 2011 episode of SmackDown Stryker participated in the biggest battle royal in WWE history. Stryker was reunited with his former broadcast partner Josh Matthews on the November 10, 2011 episode of Superstars, commentating on both the Raw and SmackDown portions of the show. The Matthews-Stryker tandem are the only announced team to call Superstars for all brands Raw, SmackDown and the former ECW brand since the show's inception in April 2009. Meanwhile, as NXT host, Stryker was frequently bullied and even assaulted by troublemakers Kurt Hawkins and Tyler Rex, eventually forcing him to hand over match booking responsibilities to William Regal on the February 29, 2012 NXT Redemption, although Stryker would remain as NXT host. On the March 21 episode of NXT Redemption, after Maxine and Johnny Curtis knocked out Stryker with chloroform, Stryker was kidnapped by unknown persons later revealed to be Hawkins and Rex, who intended to blackmail Maxine into using her charms to get Regal to leave them alone. Despite apparently being kidnapped, Stryker continued to commentate on Superstars, with the explanation given being that to keep his kidnapping a secret, WWE hired a body double to assume Stryker's duties. Stryker was rescued by Derek Bateman and Caritlin on the April 11th episode NXT Redemption. Stryker ceased his role as NXT host with the conclusion of the NXT redemption as NXT became the show of WWE's rebranded developmental territory. After hosting NXT, Stryker began interviewing WWE employees on Raw and SmackDown. During the summer of 2012, Stryker became the host of WWE Afterburn for international broadcasts. On the October 12th SmackDown, Stryker tried to interview Team Hell No, but they both attacked him. On the October 15 episode of Raw, Stryker demanded that he receive an apology and was instead forced to face Kane in his final WWE match, which Stryker lost. On June 20, 2013, Stryker departed from WWE after the company opted to not renew his contract. Equals Independent Circuit Equals, on June 21, Stryker made his first post-WWE appearance, by appearing on Family Wrestling Entertainment IPPV, FWE Rumble in Queens, New York as a color commentator. On September 14, Wright Coast Pro announced that Stryker would face Billy Bax at the promotion's October 12 event. On October 21, 2013, Stryker was defeated by Just Incredible in NYWC's House of Madness. After the match, Stryker nailed Credible and legitimately busted him open hard way. 
Backstage, Stryker tried to apologize but Credible cursed him out in the locker room and stormed off. On November 9, 2013, Stryker debuted at House of Hardcore 3, defeating Lance and Ayer. On July 2013, Championship Wrestling from Hollywood announced Stryker as the new announcer of the promotion on MAV TV. On November 2, 2013, Stryker made his in-ring debut for Championship Wrestling from Hollywood, against Scorpio Sky for the CWFH Heritage Heavyweight Championship but was unsuccessful as Sky retained the title. On November 17, 2013 Stryker appeared at the Fairfield Halls in Croydon, England where he faced British legend Johnny Kidd with special guest referee, the former world lightweight champion Johnny Saint for the revival of iconic British wrestling's world of sport. This match was filmed for television. In March 2014, Stryker took part in German promotion West Extreme Wrestling's 16 Karat Gold Weekend. During the second day on March 15, he and Trent defeated Hot and Spicy to win the WXW World Tag Team Championship. They, however, lost the title back to Hot and Spicy the next day. On June 6, 2014, Stryker faced Little Guido in a losing effort at House of Hardcore 4. On June 13, Stryker faced Junior Kratos in a losing effort at All Pro Wrestling's Friday the 13th event in Burlingham, CA. On June 14, 2014, Stryker teamed with Gangrel to face Rikishi and X Pac in a losing effort at House of Hardcore 6. From July 18 to August 2, Stryker took part in Pro Wrestling Noah's 2014 NTVG Plus Cup Junior Heavyweight Tag League, where he and Super Crazy finished with a record of two wins and two losses, failing to advance to the finals. Equals Lucio Underground equals, on September 5, 2014, it was reported that Stryker had signed with Lucia Underground as the lead English language announcer, alongside Vampiro. Stryker and Vampiro provided English language commentary for the entire first season of the show, with the season finale airing on August 5, 2015. The first season was met with highly positive reviews. On September 21, 2015, Lucia Underground confirmed via Twitter that the show would return for a second season with Stryker and Vampiro returning for English commentary. The second season is set to be taped in the closing months of 2015 and will air on El Rey Network in early 2016. Equals assistance allows Asura AY administration cubed and equals, Stryker, along with Vampiro, served as one half of the English language commentators for assistance allows Asura AY administration cubed ends Lusha Lieber World Cup Internet pay-per-view on May 24, 2015. On August 9, 2015, Stryker returned to AAA English language commentary alongside Hugo Savinovich for AAA's Triple Meno XXII pay-per-view, which was heavily criticized due to many audio issues on the English language feed throughout the show, as well as the pay-per-view suddenly going off air in the final 10 minutes during a major storyline angle involving Conan, Mysticis and Los Perros del Mal. Equals New Japan Pro Wrestling equals Stryker and Jim Ross served as the English language commentators for New Japan Pro Wrestling's Wrestle Kingdom 9 in Tokyo Dome pay per view on January 4, 2015. On October 12, Stryker returned to NJPW to provide English commentary on King of Pro Wrestling, this time working alongside longtime Ring of Honor commentator Kevin Kelly. Personal life He played hockey and football. In college, K earned a bachelor's degree in history and went on to obtain a master's degree in educational psychology. Other media, K was a child actor, and had roles in the films Wise Guys and Child Savers. In 2011, K appeared in the films Big Fat Gispy Gangster and Tees in uncredited roles. He started to appear on a channel called Wrestling Figures Com in June 2013. On February 25, 2014 episode of WWE Countdown Striker appeared to talk about past and current superstars. In wrestling. Finishing moves, Golden Rule a Euro WWE. 2006 a Euro 2008. 2013 a Euro present, Happy Monkey Submission a Euro Independent Circuit, Overdrive a Euro WWE. 2005 a Euro 2006. 2011 a Euro 2012. Signature moves, Big Boot, 
Double Knee Backbreaker, Dropkick, Fujiwara Armor, Gory Bomb, Neck Snap, Rope Hung Swinging Neck Breaker, Schoolboy, Single Leg Boston Crab, Skate Lock, Sunset Flip. Wrestlers Managed, Big Daddy V Mark Henry, Tyson Kidd. Nicknames, The Modern Marvel, Hot Stuff, Macho Man, Your Teacher, The King of Royals. Entrance Themes, Teacher by Jim Johnston, Hail to the King by Avenged Sevenfold. Championships and Accomplishments, Assault Championship Wrestling, ACW Tag Team Championship A Euro with Scotty Charisma. Connecticut Championship Wrestling, CCW Heavyweight Championship. East Coast Wrestling Association, ECWA Tag Team Championship A Euro with Ace Darling. High Impact Wrestling Canada, HIW Wildside Provincial Championship. LDN Wrestling, LDN Wrestling Capital Championship. New York Wrestling Connection, NYWC Heavyweight Championship, NYWC Tag Team Championship A Euro with Rob Beckos, NYWC Interstate Championship. Premier Wrestling Federation, PWF Tag Team Championship A Euro with Josh Daniels. Pro Wrestling Illustrated, PWI ranked him number 166 of the top 500 singles wrestlers in the PWI 500 in 2006. Pro Wrestling Noah, NTVG Plus Cup Junior Heavyweight Tag League Technique Award A Euro with Super Crazy. Total Professional Wrestling, TPW Light Heavyweight Championship, TPW Tag Team Championship A Euro with Red Flair. USA Pro Wrestling. USA Pro New York State Championship, USA Pro Tag Team Championship A Euro with Simon Diamond. West Extreme Wrestling, WXW World Tag Team Championship A Euro with Trent. World of Unpredictable Wrestling, WW Continental Championship. World Wrestling Entertainment, Slammy Award for Announced Team of the Year A Euro with Todd Grisham. Wrestling Observer Newsletter, Best Television Announcer. References External links Matt Stryker's profile on WWE.com, Matthew K. at the Internet Movie Database